Hi guys, so what's the best goalkeeping saves that you have to make in every single game to make you the standout goalkeeper in your league, your province, your state, your county, even your country guys, okay? Please watch to the very end of this quick video because I promise you the answer will be so surprising and it will take so much pressure off you when you perform in your, your games every single weekend or, or, or whatever you play, uh, obviously, your, uh, your your games. Now, before I go into that and I explain, obviously, what, what saves you need to make, uh, first of all, to want a word of warning, uh, on, especially on YouTube now, there's literally thousands of goalkeeping YouTube channels. And like anything in life, you get the good, the bad, and the very ugly. Now, don't get me wrong, there's literally hundreds of amazing goalkeeping channels out there where you've got goalkeeping coaches or goalkeeping influencers, whatever you want to call them, and they're teaching the right techniques to their followers, to their members. But let's just say as well, there's hundreds of goalkeeping channels out there that are not teaching the right things, uh, what was it, to their to their students, etc. And some of them, sadly, have got like thousands of viewers, uh, views, etc. And I watch some of these videos and I'm like, what, what are these guys doing? You know, they're diving over cars, they're diving over uh, cliffs, etc. You know what I mean? And again, I know they get, I get it, they're doing it for the views, etc. You know, but as I say, you know, if it's for entertainment purposes, fine, I'm all for that. If it's a bit of fun, fine, not a problem. But a lot of these channels, as I say, are teaching goalkeepers uh, to master their techniques that they've got to be diving uh, they've got to be diving over all types of apparatus and all that guys please it's try and stay away from that type of YouTube channel because they're doing more harm than good and for the most part unintentionally as well because they've even been taught by a good go by they've even been taught the wrong techniques by their goalkeeping coach and what they're probably teaching they think is the right thing or maybe they've watched a few YouTube channels themselves maybe they might have played a few games and they obviously they think okay well I know how to coach goalkeeping and the th thing here guys okay especially if you're the parent of a goalkeeper trying to help your goalkeeping child goalkeeping is all about technique and if you've got the wrong technique or if someone's teaching you the wrong technique i.e. diving over stupid apparatus etc if your goalkeeping child lands awkwardly or you land awkwardly as a goalkeeper you're going to break bones very easily guys and this is the worry when I look at some of these YouTube channels I'm like uh, YouTube channels sorry I'm like what are you doing you know you guys are unintentionally or un or unintentionally do more harm than good obviously because they want to get those clicks they want to get those views they want to send people through to their affiliate links whatever they want to do guys so just please be a bit wary uh, of uh, goalkeeping uh, as I say, goalkeeping channels like that. Again, listen, I'm 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 all for every, anyone and everyone teaching goalkeepers techniques, but as long as they're right techniques, guys. Because if you teach it wrong, it's so so dangerous. Like you can seriously injure the people that you're trying to help. Okay, so please be wary of that. Okay, where the warning. Okay, over. Okay, back to my tip. So, what saves should you be making as a goalkeeper to make you look? the best goalkeeper in the world. Now, this is going to surprise you guys, okay? And it's not about having to go top corner and make full-length saves, etc. None of that nonsense, guys, okay? In fact, I'm just going to quickly give you a bit of a clue what what my, what my one of my mentors told me when I was a young 17, 18, 19-year-old goalkeeper. So, as a young goalkeeper, I was very fortunate to play for Everton Football Club, which is one of the biggest clubs in the world. They, they play in the Premiership at the moment. And at the time when I played... He was an amazing goalkeeper called Neville Southall, uh, who was a Welsh international. Now, at his time, Neville Southall, I think it was in 1997 or 1998, I forgot what year now. So it was a few years ago now, guys, so some of you younger generation might not remember Nev. Uh, but he was actually voted the best goalkeeper in the world. And to be fair, if he was playing today in the Premiership, he would, would without doubt, be in the top three goalkeepers comfortably in the top three just an unbelievable goalkeeper he was and also he was an amazing mentor as well and again as young goalkeepers we thought that you know we had to go in you know make a save that was easy you know amazing and we all uh, we always used to say to ourselves, look, you know, make the don't make the saves look hard, make the saves look easy. And I'll explain the psychology behind that in a moment. And I also remember, I can't even, sorry, I don't, I don't know if it was on a, one of Neville's videos, or he was getting interviewed once by the interviewee or, or the presenter. And this will give you a clue what I'm going to come to, guys, in a second. Okay, so please bear with me. I'm going to give you this amazing secret that will change how you perform in goal. And basically, the presenter or the interviewer was trying to say to Nev, so what's the best save you've made uh, in your career? And again, this is not word for word. I'm going back a few years ago now, so I'm trying to be, obviously to remember. But he was basically saying, so he was trying to basically force Nev into a corner, not in a nasty way, but trying to say, hey, what was the best save that you ever made? Thinking that Nev was going to say, you know, top corner in the FA Cup in the last minute. And Nev used to, Nev used to say, every save I made, every save that I make in a game is important. And like it, it, it sort of like threw the interviewee back. He was like, 
no, 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 no. Well, you're trying to say to me, a shot that gets hit from the 18 yard box and it rolls into your arms. The easiest save in the world. That's just as important as you flying across the goal or making a top corner save. And Nev, again, what I can remember, Nev's answer was, yeah, it's, it's, just, as, it's just as important. Any save you make, guys, that stops a goal, whether it's with your feet, obviously with your hands, with your face, with your head, a save is a save, guys. Okay, now I'm going to come to something, I promise you, that's going to change how you perform and how you'll basically do your goalkeeping training, guys. But I just want to reiterate what Nev was saying to this interviewee guy when he was getting uh, getting interviewed again as i say you know the interviewer was basically thinking that you know for goalkeepers to be an amazing goalkeeper that they've got to pull saves out the top corner you know ev every single shot now don't get me wrong a great goalkeeper has to do that at times but you don't have to do it all the time and that what not what nev was trying to explain to this person that was interviewing who just didn't get it because he would kept saying but surely to goodness me a shot from 18 yards that 18 yards out, that rolls into your arms. It's the easiest save in the world. You can't put that on the same pedestal of you turning in midair and making an amazing fingertip save. And I was like, yeah, any save that stops a goal is important. So please get that into your head, okay? So that, as this advice is not coming from myself, okay? It's coming from an absolute legend and again some of our younger, younger members might not remember Neville Southall go and please just do some due diligence on him there might be some videos on YouTube about Neville go and check him out as I say absolutely an amazing goalkeeper who's an amazing mentor to me as well uh, and to be honest with you I would never become a professional goalkeeper only for, uh, for Neville so I've got a lot to, to thank him for so coming back to the point guys and sort of sort of moving on not, not moving on sort of reiterating a bit more what Nev was trying to explain to this uh, obviously this person I was interviewing and where sadly a lot of goalkeepers go wrong they get told the wrong advice so their goalkeeping coaches are like right you've got to make these top I'm not saying every goalkeeping coach does this by the way and again unfortunately a lot of these so called goalkeeper influencers do this on YouTube basically they brainwash the goalkeepers that uh, look good that they've got to make an unbelievable top corner save now it's actually going to go against it okay to be honest with you because what happens then if you're trying too hard as a goalkeeper you might have seen goalkeepers do this you might have actually done it yourself how many times have you actually dived past the shot because you've tried to because you've been brainwashed by other people because you always think I've got to make the save look fantastic you actually dive past the shot and you end up saving the ball with your with your legs because you didn't have to dive We've all done it, guys. Okay, I, I done it myself until I was taught this valuable uh, technique that I'm about to teach you right now, which was taught to me by my mentor Neville Southall. And again, going back to like the, going to the psychology thing as well. Please listen to what I'm going to say now as well. So imagine this: imagine you're a centre forward, okay? Because this is how you can start as a goalkeeper to mentally beat your opposing players, especially centre forwards. But imagine you're a centre forward, guys. Okay, yeah, uh, and you sh hit a ball. Okay, and it's going in the top corner, and you think, oh, it's flying, and, it's, it's the, and again, you're a centre forward, it's the best strike you've ever made in the world, you're like, wow, the most perfect shot, you've been practising it for months and months, and you see it flying in the top corner, and you see the goalkeeper just sidestep, don't even dive, and make the save without diving, psychologically, what's that going to do to a centre forward? Think about it, put your comments below. They're going to go, oh my goodness me, I've been practising that. That was my most perfect shot. And that goalkeeper just made it look so easy and also embarrassed me. And I'll guarantee what will happen is when that centre forward has got an, an opportunity to shoot again. Now, bear in mind, you've just made them, you just embarrassed them because you've just made their best shot in the world look super, super easy. They have another shot at you and they've got an opportunity to pass or pass the book to their teammate. What are they going to do? I'll tell you now, 99% of centre-forwards will pass the book because they don't want to look stupid. This is how you can start to psychologically beat centre-forwards, but I'm going to come back to the main point of this video right now. The best saves that you ever want to make, guys, okay, yeah, is every single save, okay? Make your saves look easy. The reason why goalkeepers in the Premiership play in the Premiership, think about this, how many times do you see Premiership goalkeepers having to die full length for shots? If they've got to do it, obviously they can. But most of the shots that they save is either right at them, okay, or it's just a little touch, or, or uh, it might be just like half a yard dive, or it's a little touch. Most of the time they're standing up. Why is that? This is the point I'm coming to. Why do most premiership goalkeepers, okay, and with the greatest respect here, again, when a shot comes in, 
if it's flying in top corner, most Premiership goalkeepers will either just sidestep and make it a simple save, or it's just a little sidestep and a little touch. With the greatest respect to an amateur goalkeeper, they will make an, the save will look absolutely unbelievable. They'll be completely full length. They might just about get the, they might just get their fingers tipped to it. Everyone goes, oh wow, amazing save, okay. But well, that's the difference between a Premiership goalkeeper and an amateur goalkeeper. A Premiership goalkeeper doesn't have to dive. Reason being, they're in the right place at the right time when the shot comes in. Not a bit of a long-winded answer, guys, what you've been waiting for. But that's the secret to your success in goal. Not to make your saves look fantastic and amazing, but to make them look as easy as possible. One, so it's good for you, okay? Because if you're in the right place at the right time and you're more or less solid and when that shot comes in, you're catching it with your two hands or it's literally half a yard around you, you've got less chance to make a mistake. Whereas if you're going full length to make a save look fantastic, not only is the it strength, it's not only does it strengthen the chances of you making a mistake, what does it do to the centre forward? Going back to what I've already sort of explained, but I'm going to reverse it. So I'm going back to the example I said before. Imagine you're a centre forward. You've been practising for months and months and months. You've whacked this shot. It's flying in the top corner. It's the best shot you've ever made. And the goalkeeper makes an unbelievable top corner save. But just about gets there with the fingertips. What does that do to the centre forward now? Think about it. Comments below. I'm going to give you the answer anyway. It gives them encouragement. Because, oh my God, I nearly, I, nearly, I nearly scored. So when they get a chance again, what are they going to do? Have another shot at you. So I'm just going to think, for you guys, that might be a bit, again, unsure what I'm trying to explain here. Psychologically, this is how you can beat a centre forward or how you can allow them to beat you. Okay. So going back to scenario number one. Okay. I'm going to put, uh, imagine you're a centre forward. You smash the ball in the top corner and the goalkeeper just about gets there. Just about gets there. That gives you encouragement as a centre forward to try again, doesn't it? Because, oh, I nearly scored. The whole, the whole crowd's going, whoa, and I'd like, all your teammates, oh, that, that, that was an amazing shot. But I mean, again, going back to the other scenario there, the first example I said, imagine that same centre forward hits the best shot of their life, flying in the top corner, goalkeeper just sidestep, catches it, doesn't even dive, looks at them, shakes their head, rolls the ball out. What does that do psychologically to psychologically put my seat back in? Psychologically to both centre forwards. Bearing in mind they've just hit the hardest shot of their life. It destroys them, it knocks the confidence. That's how you can psychologically beat centre forwards, guys, as goalkeepers. As you get older, you'll understand that. And if you've got the right goalkeeping coaches as well, hopefully you have, they'll teach you these aspects as well. Because if you're getting taught by your goalkeeping coaches, not just about what they do on the field with you, between the sticks, they've got to take you to one side and teach you the mental side of goalkeeping as well. That's what we're so good at, at just for keepers in J4K. Does that make sense, guys? Okay, I'm just going to finish off now. For you to stand out as a goalkeeper, I know it sounds crazy, but for you to stand out as a goalkeeper for your team, in your league, in your area, in your country, it's actually not about making easy saves look unbelievably hard. So it's not about making easy saves look hard. It's about making hard saves look incredibly easy. Because one, it destroys your opposing players. But two, I promise you, if you're looking to achieve your dream to become a professional goalkeeper, semi-professional goalkeeper, get a college scholarship, I promise you, scouts or goalkeeping coaches that are looking for goalkeepers for their club or their college, they will see straight away. They will they will not be they will not be tricked or conned. Well not conned's the wrong word, but they won't be they will be phased by a goalkeeper who's flying around the goal making amazing saves. They're looking for the goalkeepers that make these hard saves look easy. Well that makes sense, guys. And think about it. Just look at your favourite keepers in the premiership or in the MLS. The keepers that are top, and the reason why they're in the top leagues in your country, it's not because they make the easy saves look hard. It's because they make the hard. It's not 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 because they make the easy shots look difficult and amazing. It's because they make the promise to start again. It's not because they make the easy shots look hard. It's because they make the hard shots look easy. They're in the right place at the right time. So if you can get your goalkeeper coach to make sure that your positioning is spot on, that when a shot comes in, no matter what angle, okay, no matter if it's six yards out, 26 yards out, if you've got the right angle, the right positioning, you've got your starting position right, so when that shot comes in, at that split second before, you're in the right place at the right time, and you can make those saves look a lot easier, I promise you, that's how you stand out as a goalkeeper. 
okay? Or that's how you stand out as a goalkeeper for the people that matter. And what I mean by that is for the people that will choose you to play semi-professional, professional, or international, or if of college soccer, etc. Now, the normal Joe blogs on the sidelines, guys, I'll be honest with you, when you're making these saves look easy, they're going to go, oh, this centre forward's crap. Not the centre forward's crap. Is that you're doing an amazing job. And sometimes that can be a bit frustrating as a goalkeeper because when you make an easy save, uh, when you make a hard save, look a hard shot look easy, everyone's like, oh, the centre forward's crap. And you're like, guys, it's me. <laughs> it's me. Ray told me to do this. My goalkeeping coach told, told me to do this. The reason why that centre forward looked, looked stupid is because I made him look stupid. Unfortunately, guys, you've got to live with that. 99% of the people watching, 99% of your teammates, even your coaches won't understand, okay? They'll go, oh, that wasn't a good shot. It's just that you made it look easy, guys. But that's how you'll stand out for when you want to achieve your dreams when you're 16, 17, 18, or for the scouts that are looking for the goalkeepers for your age group. I promise you, they'll see it. And at the end of the day, they're the ones that matter if they're going to give you an opportunity to achieve your dreams. So I hope that makes sense. So listen, if you want more information, more help and advice like this, subscribe to below, subscribe below to, to, my, to our podcast and also as well get free access to our brand new online school where there's nearly a thousand members where we literally help all our members completely free of charge with everything towards their goalkeeping help, advice, guidance and helping them achieve their dreams. You'll see the link below. Go and join completely free of charge and we look forward to helping you achieve your goalkeeping dreams like we've helped thousands of our goalkeeping students for over 25 years now, achieve their goalkeeping dreams by becoming a professional, semi-professional, or gaining college scholarships. I will see you in our online J4K school. Click the link below. All the very best.